it. I hadn't gotten high in four days. I, I'm like speechless now. Who here has the stripes? No, who has the stripes? Me or I don't you? see any. You're giving me crap. The inmates believe that Bill and I are a gay couple. Bill is my other wife. Why do we have all these people updated as homosexuals in the jail and they're all over the place at different facilities when we know that they're all right here? There's 411 of them on there. We only have 305 here now. Here you go. Don't let me stop you from doing some work. Go ahead. Now you got no excuse. Update them all. Well, my name's Randy Bell. I've been working for the Sheriff's Department for about 19 years. I was a former high school teacher and made a job change. Yeah, the sergeant said, well, I don't like his body language. I don't like the way that you're sitting. I'll show you some body language. Well, my partner, Bart Lanny, and I, we have a good working relationship. I'm Bart Lanny, and uh, I'm a deputy who works for LA County Sheriff's Department. When you're gay and you come into the LA County jail system, you're segregated from the rest of the population for your safety. K-11 is a term that we use for gay males in custody. That term came about to alleviate the use of derogatory terms towards gay men. If you are a gay male in Los Angeles, you're gonna know certain things about that lifestyle. Do you consider yourself a fag hag? Not a fag hag, a fag, but not a fag hag. You know what a size queen is? It's a, somebody who's into the... The housing areas in the custody facility for the K-11s are all dorm related. You got your bunk and everything? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Edward Sanchez, could I see you at the window, please? They said they cannot release you or let you out, and that's why you have no bail until you go to court in May. My name is C.A. Turner, uh, custody assistant for Men's Central Jail. Okay. Hey, you brushed your teeth this morning. Don't come up here. No better. <laughs> this is like a holiday inn for them. So they come in room service, they get their food, they get to see movies, they have vending, newspapers every day, and open showers, bathrooms. Who would want to leave? Well, they don't, and if they do, they come back within sometimes seven days. <laughs> I caught my boyfriend cheating on me, so I broke all the windows in his car. So I was arrested for vandalism and uh, assault with a deadly weapon. I made this set of um, chip bags, green chip bag and a red chip bag. If you really don't have any money in here and you want to try to survive, you can make these. When I first went to prison, I didn't tell anyone I was gay. If you have a little flamboyant walk or a, a little effeminate walk, um, like I do, I usually would put little things in my shoe to have a little limp so that I wouldn't appear to be so um, um, feminine. I would have never in my wildest dreams ever dressed it up in drag and like I did in here about two weeks ago and I won the first prize for being the best drag queen. My name is Renee Martinez also known as Mousy and I'm 30 years old. I've been doing time since I was about 15. I'm from a gang called Glanton 14th Street. I've been arrested for a carjacking with a gun, assault with a deadly weapon, assault, uh, prostitution. You put all gay men together, they are going to have sex, and it's like a bathhouse down there. They call this um, a lower bunk. When you have two of them pushed together, it's called the Cadillac bunk. And this particular bunk is mine and my boyfriend's. It still is a violation of the law. If you have sex in jail, you will be prosecuted. Another queen had said something to me in the chow hall, disrespectful. I waited for her at the end of the uh, hallway, and she came around the hallway and knocked her out. Unfortunately, there's cameras in the hallway, so they came and gaffled me up, <laughs> and I went to the hole for quite a few days. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make a, a liner that you can paint on your eyebrows with. Number two pencil, you just pat it like that. I darken my eyebrows and my lips because they're tattooed on, but the ink looks green, so I just darken over it every day. I mean, it's the best you can get for being in here. I prefer Mac, but I can't get that right now. 
My name is Theodore Biedermar. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Fontana, California, San Bernardino County. Basically, I was being accused of joyriding. Theodore Butemeyer, uh, the guy is scandalous. And that guy is, in my opinion, is not going to change. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> Pretty much. I, I'm, a, I'm a repeat offender. I've been HIV positive for a year. I found out when I first came in here, I kind of was depressed for a while, I was stressed out, and now that I'm okay with it, I'm very outgoing about HIV. I mainly tell people, you know, use condoms, this and that, and I, I emphasize to them to stay, stay off needles and drugs and all that. My name is Milo Pai. I'm 58 years old, I'm from Detroit. Yeah, when I, when I first met Milo Pai, what a character. I'm a male prostitute. I sell sex. I only got a little bit old now. I don't sell sex like I used to. I'm a criminal. I'm a crook. I'm a mother that lives in the streets. I do all the things I like to do. And this guy was probably, for me, the most offensive human being I've ever met, though he has a talent. I always do. I do. My, my brothers, my mother, all everybody in my family had, is into art. I come to jail a lot, and it's a way of life for me in jail. When I come in here, I draw pictures, and people pay me. I hustle it, you know? I don't think you're going to learn how to draw. I think it's something that you have to have in you. I love Bell, and I love Maney. You know, they're special to me, you know? And uh, they're not like the other officers. One of my favorite things was music, and as I was growing up, uh, Elvis was a large influence in my life. I used to travel around with a group of people that would follow him around to concerts. I don't like the word groupie. I hung out, yeah. I think he thinks he's Elvis Presley relived. I, I have a daughter that is involved in dance. So to keep connected, I even got involved with her dance group. And we did a parody on ballet and hip hop. And believe it or not, I got out there on stage wearing a tutu. And I, I know it sounds weird, but uh, I, I had a good time. I heard this uh, Belizean artist who has some terrific uh, music and ability. He works for the health department. And uh, I said, you know what, young man, you need somebody to uh, manage you and take that on to make sure you don't get ripped off. But when I played the R&B tracks for him, he, he went wild. After I retire, I'm not gonna have anything to do with law enforcement. I'm gonna go uh, that route, the management route. Danny's a funny guy, man, and you know, it's, uh, it, I mean, it's fun, because I kind of always mess around with him by saying, you know, it's cool that I could walk around with someone who could legally hold a gun, you know? Do you have Joseph Carroll's file? I mean, it should be right there in the front, as many times as he comes back in here. How long are you going to be here this time? I got 180 days on the under, uh, under the influence, and I got 30 days on the probation violation. So we got five months. Okay. Yeah. Can you get your high school diploma in five months? Give it a hell of a shot. You could do that do in it. less than five. Oh, let's do it. I'm, well, I mean, get, get me in the class. I, you know. What do you mean, get you in the class? We call up the class for every day. If you're not up here at eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow, I'm gonna be down in that dorm shaking your bunk. Open up your folder. I want to see what lessons you finish. Click right here. You know, often when inmates come into custody, they'll sit in my office here with us because we interview all of them that come in, and I know they're pulling the wool over my eyes. And, and they're, they're lying to me. And you know, I usually take the stance like this, and I'll say, "Tell me some more lies." So when you get out of here, what's going to happen? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to do? I'm going right back to Hollywood. Do just what I always did. When I first get out, I'll probably go back to my original job, which is phone sex. I know I hang around the wrong people, and I, I'm trying to change that. Some of them love me, and some of them don't care very much for me, but that's understandable. I'm not here for you to love me. I'm here to do a job, which I think I do well. I, I think the best part of this job is to be able to interact with these people, learn about their lifestyle, which enables us to better help them out. The best part of my job right now is when I don't see a guy come back to jail. 